Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. Back in full effect, back to making videos. Again, thanks to everybody out there for your support. But I'm excited to go ahead and jump back into, I got a lot of videos to make up, but I'm going to jump back into this series here, back with another What's in My Doc video. A lot of people really do like this video. So I'm gonna show you about three or four different applications that I currently use on my Mac right now. Some are fun, some are, some are productive. Let's go and jump into it and see what we got here. Now the first application I'm gonna show you is called Mock Desktop. Now, what, what this allows you to do is, as you can see here, you can actually have a moving image or a moving video as your desktop wallpaper and kind of get, a, get away from the just standard wallpaper. So it's kind of fun to do sometimes. Um, and so here it has about 20 to uh, 25 different presets you can do here. So you can have like the earth and the sun here rotating here. You got the uh, supernova. I think that's the one you just saw. That's right. Got a little explosion here. Got light speed. And then you, see, you, get, you get the point here, you got like a static TV, but it just kind of just makes it a little bit more customization to your desktop, kind of, again, spice it up a little bit. You can also choose to have one of your favorite QuickTime movies play um, in the background as well, or you can have your favorite web page actually pop open. So as soon as you open up this application, your favorite web page will pop on the screen. Can't really interact with it, but you can see whatever is refreshed on that screen at the time. You can also put your desktop widgets on here as well. So say I got this ESPN widget, uh, which I normally have to go on the dashboard to look at. Now you can have it sitting right on your desktop, move it over to a corner here and have it stationary there. So it will always be there. It does take a little while to refresh, but this um, that desktop widget will always be there just like so. So this is called Mock Spaces, and I'm gonna close this application out. And the next one we're gonna go to is called Hyperspaces. Now, if you don't if you don't have a Mac, this is what Spaces is. Spaces is kind of like you can have um, multiple virtual desktops. So say I have this window right here let me open up safari say i got safari right here in this window and say i want to start doing something else but i don't want i need to keep that safari window open but i don't really want to look at it i can go over to this space right here and the safari window is gone but i can still do everything on my mac as normal but what hyperspaces does actually allows you let me close this down it allows you to do a customization you can ch customize each individual space to have its own desktop background so i got this editing space right here to have my different desktop background and also you can choose in the uh, wherever you want to place on the screen to have to actually have a title for the space so i want this to be known as my editing space so i can have iMovie screen flow uh, powerpoint whatever you want to put in here you can know you're going to have it in this space right here and i got another space titled ustream which i use for my live uh, ustream broadcast i can have everything sitting here in this space and know exactly where it is so that's called hyperspaces now the next one i'm going to show you is going to it's called sketchbox now sketchbox is kind of like sticky notes on steroids and it allows you to do a lot more customization with just a regular sticky note, which really you just do really just typing on it. Now, if I open up this sticky note right here, I can actually draw on here. So say I have actually have like a little, uh, a little, t um, I can't think now, but a little pad or something like that with a pen that I can actually draw on or type on or not type on, draw on or write on. I can actually use this or I can just use a mouse like I'm doing right now. And you can draw on this uh, this little sticky note right here. It's, 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 it's fun to doodle. If you want to doodle something on here real quick, you can do that as well. But also you can do the traditional, just you want to type in some text on there. And you see here, once you start typing in the text in the text tab, the whatever you're drawing on there kind of gets a little bit transparent so you can see exactly what you're typing. And you can over type right over top of the whatever you're drawing below there. Uh, you can change the font, all that good stuff. I'm not going to get into that. Um, whoa, another cool thing you can do with this application is actually take a, a screenshot or whatever you're working on say I'm, I'm open up a safari right here and say if i want to open up sketchbox and let me go and clear this uh canvas there all right so say i've opened up sketchbox here and i'm gonna open up uh sketchbox here and i open up and i say i want to take a picture of this web page so if i'm typing the note say hey go to this web page later on once you get home and click on this link or whatever you want to do i can go ahead and take a picture of this and i can actually make it bigger if i wanted to I can snap a picture of this portion of the web page right here like so. And so the, all that stuff came back again. But anyway, so right now I drag this over here. Now I got that image right on top of the note. And again, I can still type on here if I wanted to, like so. And I can still draw on here if I really didn't want to. And also you can set a reminder for it. So if you're gonna go back to this note, you're gonna have this note pop up, with this sticky note pop up at some point. You can do this as well and set it to have it you know, pop up whenever you wanted to. And that's called, I'm not gonna get too much about that, but that's called Sketchbox. Very good note-taking application. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is called Cinch. Not really anything to open up here, but a Cinch allows you to do a lot of the uh, cool things with Windows 7 as far as managing your open windows. Now what this does is if I'm gonna uh, click on this uh, desktop window here, this web page. I'm gonna drag it up to the top. You see this little box came on here? Now once I release this mouse, this is I'll automatically go full screen. So if I drag it up to the top, it's automatically go full screen. So Windows 7 really does demonstrate this a lot. I really like this feature in Windows 7, but now it's on the Mac. I can drag it over to the left-hand side, 
and have it do like that and continue I'm just doing using the demo right now I actually need to buy this if you want to do it for a long time but anyway if I open up this Firefox window here I can drag this over to the right hand side and uh, it'll sync up just like that and have an even playing field on my desktop very fun application to use very useful just like it does in uh, Windows 7 but hey this is the end of my what's in my doc videos so you know best here again I'd like to thank you for watching my videos be look up, be on the lookout for more videos. And remember, you can watch me live. I'll leave my stream on 24 hours at soldiernosebest.com. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.